Well, hey guys and gals, welcome back to another episode here on the Blockhead server. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing off this elven house that we built last time. We are we need to decorate it. That it's it's a little plain. It's a little plain Jane. We need to decorate it with the normal accoutrements. We need some lanterns and some glow lichen and some leaves and some other bits and bobs here and there. I also want to decorate the interior of this thing. I still whoa whoa. <laughs> This is not the most effective door. Anyway, um, I still do not quite know what I want to put in here, but I'm leaning towards adding some villagers into it. I think that's going to be actually kind of cool to have some villagers in here. So we need to we need to do that um, eventually. I don't know if I'm going to do this episode because villager moving is quite an endeavor. Quite an endeavor. Yes, it is. But anyway. <laughs> We're going to be working on decorating this thing. So I've started out by putting some of these, um, yeah, some of these lanterns right here. These are the, what are they called? The, the little warp lanterns? I don't know. I call them the blue lanterns, so whatever they are. That's opposed to the green lanterns. <laughs> and this is part of my original design, so I'm just going to go ahead and put these around like this. That should provide some lighting and also keep us safe from uh, hoglins, actually. Although there are no hoglins in the area, so... <laughs> But should there be a hoglin, they're afraid of these things. What are they called anyway? Soul lanterns, that's right. Okay, well here's the problem. These lanterns look awesome, but apparently they put out like no light. Like what is that about? Like look at this. <laughs> All of these blocks are spawnable because these stupid things don't put out any light. That is really lame. I'm really annoyed by that. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna have to go and lean more on the side of practicality than beauty. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm liking that. I did some like sort of all, like different heights here in front of the doors, and then the ones behind the pillars are all the same height. I think that looks really good if I could just get out of the, um, the bushes there. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I want to light this up. I might just put like a warped um, one of these things in the, and then a lantern hanging down. Not exactly sure what I want to do there. I could also drop lanterns like from up high, but then the uh, the glow lichen won't look right. So kind of kind of still working on the upper areas there, but for this lower area, I think that looks really good. Yeah, I, I would have liked to use the soul lanterns, but maybe we can replace them when 1.18 comes out and we have a little bit better control over lighting. So uh, yeah, but I, I don't think they look bad. And they actually fit, like, if you look at the tower over there. Whoa, my Optifine zoom is not working. That's interesting. Um, the uh, This tower over here has, you know, the same type of lantern. So it's, it's consistent. Okay, so I'm trying to get some azalea leaves because I want to put them on our build. And then, um, yeah, and, and, and we don't have any. Yay! That's actually quite a few. Well, a nice side effect of the harvesting process is we've got some of this rooted dirt, which is kind of cool. I like this stuff. All right, we're off to a start putting these azalea leaves in. I think this is looking pretty good. I like it. I feel like they kind of clash with the warped, actually, but I think it's going to end up looking really good once you put them all in because they look good, like, in the other areas. So, I don't know. I mean, like, downstairs when I did this on the, on the smaller houses. I think it'll look fine. Okay, there we go. I've got all of the leaves put on the roof here. I think that looks nice. Pretty happy with the paths that I took with the leaves. I think it looks pretty natural. Next, some glow lichen. The exterior of this thing is completely finished. I'm very happy with it. I think it looks really nice. I love all of the azalea leaves. I like the glow lichen. I like the lanterns. I think it looks really, really cool. I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. Now we're going to work on the interior. Well, okay, we're starting things off inside with a little bit of a... I'm trying to make like a big bonsai tree in here. I wanted it to be sort of overgrown looking, and so it actually goes up through this hole that was in the roof slash floor. And we'll look at the top of it here. So you can kind of see like how it comes through there. I actually really like this thing, even though it's a little odd. Uh, it's kind of overgrownish, but I wanted it to be that way because I think that elves are really into leafy things, right? Like things, leafy things. Does, does that make sense? 
Anyway, then uh, this is going to be like the grand hall of the elves over here. So there's going to be like a big like dining table. And then up here, this is going to be kind of like the kitchen area. And then down in here, there's going to be like lots of like places to sit and whatever. And then the top level will be like beds of some sort, bedrooms or something. Not really sure how to do it. But anyways, that's kind of where we're headed. I'm going to just keep working. Okay, I've got the downstairs pretty much fully decorated now. So I added this little thing here for like this kind of an entryway. A couple of potted plants here. I used that rooted dirt that we got from um, getting the leaves earlier. And then we've got this guy. Uh, a couple of benches here and I thought we'd put like a top on the benches. I don't know why. It just kind of seemed to um, be a good idea and I like it a lot. Then we have these two little alcoves. That's why I'm holding this banner. I wanted to put some banners in here, but I think I'm probably just going to do a painting here and a painting there instead. Something like that. And then another one of those alcoves right here. Uh, of course, we've got some lanterns and then lanterns down the center there. Lanterns down the center here. Similar decoration here. Like this. Upstairs, I started the upstairs. I started this right here. So we have a deep slate, um, the tile deep slate like table. And I think this works really well in here and I really like it. And then we did some candles where we just did like, you know, the warped fence with a little candle on top. And then because candles put out like no light for some reason, um, I put the lanterns over the top. I don't, I really wish that I could have just used the candles, but that's how lighting works right now. Anywho, um, I wanted to do something like a kitchen in here and then decorate this upstairs area. Well, guys and gals, it is complete. It's complete. I'm very pleased with it. I know you already saw this part, but it just looks so good. I'm going to walk through it anyway. <laughs> oh, I did put the paintings up that I was talking about. I decided to go with those. I think they work well. In here, up here, I made some additions to this table. I put some little plates on and some cups. And then I also made this little banner. I think it works well. I think it looks kind of elven and elvish and whatever. And so I put those around. And then I had to put these stupid lanterns here because I kept having mobs spawn up here, uh, kind of on the edges here. So I'm not happy with those lanterns being on the side, but I guess they're not that big of a deal. Um, the kitchen. I completely tore out a dormer to make this fireplace right here. And so we have a fireplace. That is actually a mini block of nylium, of red nylium or whatever it's called. And then over here, we just have, yeah, uh, a nice little countertop. Let me let me actually fly up so you can see it. Whoa. Um, you can kind of see just, I just put some random items on here that look kind of made it look kind of kitcheny, right? So if I'm, th I'm thinking that like elves would probably cook over a fire and then this is a little mini block. It's a beehive. And I think thought it looked like a little salt box or something. And then here we have just some barrels and a random lantern. And so that's our kitchen. And I think it works really well. Over here, up here, I completely decorated the upstairs. We've got this way, um, a couple more little alcoves, but just with a little flower here and there. And then we have, I just used these as like screens, you know what I mean? So like privacy screens kind of. And so then we've got, you know, like a little bedroom there and kind of a, not, they're not really bedrooms. They're sort of just sleeping areas, if that makes sense. And then some sleeping areas in here. And then we have more of a slightly more private room here um, at the end. And then there's another private room back here. And I think this works really well. I wanted to use the Minecraft beds. And so to decorate them, I put these banners behind them. And I think that looks really good. And then I put a couple banners up here and then this room is similarly decorated to that other one where we have a little uh, thing here. And the reason I'm using the Minecraft beds is so A, so I can sleep in it. And also so that if I do decide to put some villagers in here, uh, real villagers, that they will have um, a place to, uh, to sleep, that their beds are up here and that they're able to do their sort of villager thing. And yeah, uh, I also have, might have to change out these barrels for like chests or something um, if I put real villagers in here, but we'll see. I really like this interior. I think it's one of the better interiors I've ever done. I love this tree in here. I think it just, yeah, it, it just looks very elven to me. It looks very natural and sort of pretty. And I'm very happy with this build overall. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And I believe it's done. 
Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this episode on the Blockhead server. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that nice stuff. But anyways, more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful, fantastic day. And God bless. Oh, <laughs> oh,